OK, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. OK, so to do this, um, to do this, break this up. Break this up. So uh, remember, natural log of a times b, that's the same as natural log of a plus natural log uh, plus natural log of b. So break this up as uh, natural log of 2 plus natural log of n. So uh, so now uh, now you can break this up as one fraction, and then uh, break this up as another fraction. So uh, this here, um, this here is just a constant, and then we we know that um, well you, you can visualize this as uh, root two times root n if you want to. Um, well root n, so you've got a constant up here. Root n is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, so you've got a constant divided by something that gets very, very, very big eventually, then then this whole thing here will head towards zero. Okay, so, so we can pretty much forget about this and concentrate on this. Well, here you can see, um, as n tends to infinity, a natural log of n will just get bigger and bigger and bigger, so it's heading towards infinity. This is also heading towards infinity. So here you've got an indeterminate form, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule, differentiate this, that will then give you this, differentiate the bottom, that will then give you this, and then tidy this up. If you tidy this up, it, it will um, it will give you this. Okay, it will give you this, and then now um, now you've got one thing divided by dividing by another thing, so you can times the reciprocal. So now it's top times top, bottom times bottom. That will then give you that will then give you this. So now. Um, now this is a constant. You can take it out, uh, and then and then now we, we know that when, when you get to this stage, you know that as n tends to infinity, uh, this the denominator will just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So one divided by something that gets very very big, it goes to zero. So this thing here will, will head towards zero. Zero times root two is zero. So the limit is zero. Okay. So next one. Um, find the limit of this sequence of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we we are going to times the top and bottom by by the conjugate of this. So times top and bottom by by the conjugate of this. So that will be that will be root n squared plus uh, n squared minus one, and then you've got uh, the opposite of this, which will be plus, and then and then this stays exactly the same. So n squared plus n, basically times top and bottom by the conjugate. So times this by by uh, root n squared minus one, and then plus root n squared plus n. So uh, so now this times this will, will will then give you this, and then uh, and then and then this. Times this will then give you will then give you this. Okay. Um, well, times top and bottom by the conjugate, it will give you this. It will give you this thing here. So now, um, now you tidy this up. So tidy this up. This will then become this. And let's let's just um, let's just factor out the minus here. So this becomes a positive. So so it's like this. And then this minus is actually this minus here. So. Uh, so we we can now break this up as one fraction. Don't forget this minus here um, is minus, and then you've got a, a minus here as well. So and then break this up as another fraction. That will then give you this. So now um, now as n tends to infinity, um, as n tends to infinity, uh, the, this number one here is negligible. It's, it's insignificant. It's so small. Um, as n gets very very big big we can pretty much ignore this number one here so it's really um, it's really uh, it's really n squared we can imagine this as n squared and then we've got our our square root here and then uh, and then and then down here as n tends to infinity we can pretty much um, ignore this insignificant number one so we can just think of this as n so here this is like n and this is over n so it's really one so uh, so here this whole thing here is the number one, but you've got a minus here and a minus here, and then uh, and then as n gets very very big, we can 
n squared will be much 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 bigger than than that n because as n gets very very big n squared will be much much bigger than n so we can imagine this as being n squared over n and then uh, n gets very very big plus this insignificant number one so we can think of this as being over n so as n gets very very big we can imagine the denominator as being just n so now this thing here is n this thing here is n so uh, so this whole thing here is uh, is one is one so uh, so you've got negative one negative one gives you negative two the limit is negative two okay